Hey, what is going on everybody? This is iAppleGeek3 and today I've got a very strange array of devices here on my table. As you guys can see, I have an iPhone 6S, an iPod Touch 6th generation, an iPhone 5S, an iPhone 5, and an iPod Touch 5th generation. Now, you may be wondering what this is all about. These devices contain processors in a descending order, showcasing what Apple has done in the past five generations. So first off, we have the iPhone 6S, which runs the Apple A9 chip, the iPod Touch 6th generation, which runs the Apple A8 chip, iPhone 5S runs A7, iPhone 5 runs A6, and iPod Touch 5 runs A5. These devices do represent several other devices excluding the iPad versions of these chips. So we are not counting the X versions of each of these chips. And I want to test how fast these devices are compared to themselves and see how far Apple has come in recent years. See their graphics performance, their speed, and general usability. Now these devices are running their optimum firmwares, which means they get the most amount of features with the most amount of performance possible. Now the 64-bit devices running iOS 9 handle it with no problem at all. Now the iPhone 5 is jailbroken on iOS 8 and the iPod Touch 5 is on iOS 7. Now the iPhone 5 is jailbroken, but since it is in safe mode for this test, its performance should not be affected. First things first, let's go ahead and test a general performance with Geekbench 3. So each of these devices are on different firmwares, but these tests allow us to see how these devices perform at their peak rates. So let's go ahead and get started by taking a look at the specs you can see here on the screen, and let's go ahead and get the test started. Now I do understand that these devices vary greatly in processing power and it's really interesting to see how Apple has come these past few years in terms of power, just the difference of speed. So it looks like the iPhone 6S is first at around 15 seconds and the iPod Touch 6th generation closely follows 15 seconds later. And I did want to go ahead and mention that the iPod Touch 6th generation is a little bit underclocked in its processor. So I decided to go ahead and find a screenshot of an iPhone 6's speed and calculate the amount of time it would take for it to complete the same test. So the iPhone 6 will have about 25 seconds to finish this test with a little bit higher score. So as you guys can see here, the iPhone 5s closely followed the iPod Touch 6 and the iPhone 5 followed the iPhone 5s at doubling its time. Now the iPod Touch 5th generation is taking its sweet time, so I have no idea how long it's taking for this guy to finish the test. So as you guys can see here, there wasn't a big difference in the A7 and the A8, but there was a big difference everywhere else. So that is very interesting what Apple is doing with their iPhone S models. Next up, I wanted to go ahead and see how well these devices perform at graphics. This does affect videos and games and whatever, even web pages require this. So let's go ahead and launch up GFX Bench and from the looks of things, the iPod Touch 5th generation is having a bit of a malfunction here with the application. It simply would not let me get into the main menu. So the iPod Touch 5 is out of this test. But anyways, let's go ahead and continue with the test anyway with the other devices. Now, first off, you guys would be thinking, wait a second, these devices are running different tests. But it doesn't really matter because these tests are specified for these devices on whatever software they're running to get the best performance results. Now another thing you guys might be thinking is since the iPod Touch 6 is underclocked, shouldn't a device like the iPhone 6 be able to take this test instead of the iPod 6? Well let me go ahead and mention right off the bat that the iPod Touch 6 generation has better graphics performance than the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, which is extremely surprising, simply because it has to push less pixels on the screen. So that is very interesting, the iPod Touch 6 excels the iPhone 6, not in in terms of processing power, but in terms of graphics performance. A very interesting fact to note. Let's go ahead and quickly skip to the end and take a look at the results. For the iPhone 6s, we have a huge score of 3300 FPS for the T-Rex test, which is very, very good. Now the iPod Touch 6 falls not far behind at 2800, and that's really good. Better than the iPhone 5s, which scored at 2200. So these 64-bit devices do hold up quite well in graphics, and you can see the difference here with the iPhone 5. It's just horrendously terrible. It's not even half of what the iPhone 5S was. That's sad. Not to mention that it couldn't run all the tests, which is actually quite surprising because 
I waited around the same amount of time for all of these devices to finish. Alrighty, and let's go ahead and move on to our third and final test. And before we do that, let's go ahead and make sure we are on the exact same Wi-Fi network. So these devices all have a fair shot at the throne. Let's go ahead and see how these devices perform when stacked up against each other in a web browsing test. So let's go ahead and begin the test with Apple.com. I mean, why not? The classic, right? So on three, two, one, and it looks like the iPhone 6S and the iPod Touch 6 were tied, and the iPhone 5S and iPod Touch 5 pulled in before the iPhone 5 did. The iPhone 5's antenna bands seems to be its evident downfall in this test. This could be due to how the device is set on this table. Now let's go ahead and try this test again with reddit.com and go. So it looks like the iPhone 6s, the iPod Touch 6, iPhone 5s, iPod Touch 5, and finally the iPhone 5. So almost the exact same pattern except the first two aren't tied. Very interesting to see. And besides me having to grow a couple more fingers for this test, I found it very interesting to compare the last five generations of processors in Apple's iPhone lineup. So I hope you guys did also find this video interesting. If you guys did, don't forget to rate me up. That would be greatly appreciated. Anyways guys, don't forget to subscribe for the next video. If you guys do subscribe, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.